What's up, guys? This is Ashnox. It's time to summon N plus 15 and build Jack O. This is a collaboration hero. Guilty Gear collaboration is back. And we finally have Jack O. So here she is a fire warrior. I'll give you guys my thoughts about this hero as I try to summon for her. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the artifact. Good luck to everyone trying to summon for her. Her kit looks very strong, guys. Like very, very strong uh, kit. Seems OP. It does seem OP. If the target has a debuff, she's going to be doing more damage. And damage is important because if you are able to down the target, you get an extra turn with the skill number three, which is uh, going to be ridiculous. Her artifact also is very good because you get effectiveness for the whole team. And then you also increase your damage if you do a single target attack uh, all the way up to 24% when it's at plus 30. So that is real sweet right there, helping her to get that kill, secure that kill so she can get the extra turn with the uh, skill number three. Okay, so let's do it. I want the right banner here. Here we go. So I definitely want to have her artifact. I'm going to have to purchase it for Powder of Knowledge. Let's say you don't have it, right? Because it's between 12 and 24%. So halfway there, if you only have it plus 15, means it's going to be 18% damage increase. So you could go with Portrait of the Saviors instead, right? That's another way to go about it. And uh, you're not going to be getting the effectiveness for the, uh, for the team, though, which is unfortunate. So you're going to have... Uh, you need a hero that is faster than her that is going to be able to debuff the enemy because it's important her skill one gets uh, get uh, more damage if the target is debuff actually she gets an extra attack free attack if i'm not wrong so there's the stun on the skill number one as well and uh, the ally in the back can stun very very deadly stuff so it says that when the target has a debuff activates the stack very important that you have a debuff on the target uh, it's it's a huge deal. You're not uh, gonna be able to get the extra damage on the skill three, so maybe you don't land the kill, and then you're not gonna be able to get the extra turn uh, to get the skill one that will get uh, the, the uh, extra attack. So that is a ton of damage if you're not able to make it happen. So you need to build her with enough offensive power, enough attack, enough you know, crit damage to make this thing happen. And her passive is insane because the back row. Uh, ally will be getting a 25% chance to stun when he attacks and if the target is stunned you boost the combatness of your whole team by 15% <clears throat> can only activate once per three turn from what I remember sorry about that just gonna double check here it's actually 20% combatness push when you actually have uh, the skill ups so this hero her kit is overloaded that's the thing there's just so much going on in there it's to be expected. She's a limited hero. And it's a limited, uh, you know, artifact as well. So this artifact can definitely be used on other warriors. Single target damage dealing warriors. And it's it's a lot of value. It's definitely uh, a lot of value. So we're almost there with uh, the pity. Can I get the artifact though? That's the question. Oh, I can't skip. Maybe that's the one. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm not gonna have to use Power of Knowledge, which is really good. So I'll probably just have it at plus 15. I don't know, maybe I get more copies, but that's that's good enough. That's good enough, I think, right? And it can only apply to one hero within a team, of course. So you can't just stack it on multiple heroes, get a bunch of effectiveness for your team, sadly, but uh, it, it makes more sense that way. And uh, I'm gonna be trying her out. I'm gonna showcase her after this video so i'm gonna summon i'm gonna be building her i'll show you guys my stats what i'm going for so i'm gonna have her on a speedy build because you know i want her to do her thing and uh you need to have someone faster i'm gonna have like uh conqueror lilius open up debuff the enemy uh, take care of their immunity set and then she's gonna be able to do her thing more damage extra attack with the skill number one the skill three only has a three turn cooldown which is uh, oh which is uh, really good because you get an extra turn if you down the target, which means it's going to be a two-turn cool nice two-turn cooldown on the skill number three. So you're going to be able to use that thing often, and you're going to be able to just hopefully take out targets uh, one by one. And then like you get the extra turn into the skill one. So maybe the skill one with the extra attack, especially, you're going to be able to 
maybe take out someone else or at least soften them up, uh, soften them up enough uh, to have another hero take that you know hero out or maybe she with her skill number three is going to be able to make it happen uh, but in the best case scenario would be that she takes the target out or you're going to be able to take it out with someone else right maybe you have uh, heroes that go before her that are able to soften up the enemy team and going to be able to just like guarantee sort of like a uh, skill 3 kill, and then the skill 1, especially into the extra attack, will allow you to secure a second kill. That could be pretty OP right there, definitely. So, uh, looks like it's going to be a pity. The last, last uh, extend here. And uh, yeah, we'll just build her right after this. For Empress, I believe she's got attack for her. So I can't skip this. Ooh, really? Could it be? I I'm just going to like feed everything into it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll just feed everything into uh, that one. But you could have it on different heroes in your roster. It's just like you can't have it on two different, you know, uh, heroes. And the thing is, is it the effect still effect? You know, maybe the effectiveness for the team is the only thing that uh, will not be working uh, multiple times on your team. Maybe the single target damage increase will work on different heroes. But, I mean, it needs to be tested, right? It needs to be tested. So let's go here with uh, the Pity. That is uh, Guarantee Summon right here. Okay. So heroes that could be real deadly with Jack O would be in the back a Dizzy, right? From the Guilty Gear collaboration. Definitely a great contender. Three chances to stun. Three chances to stun is crazy because Dizzy skill one, AoE attack, and chance to stun. Abyssal Crown, chance to stun, and Chain of Iron. Her passive uh, giving a chance to stun on the skill one that cannot be dispelled. It lasts for two turns. So maybe you want the back liner to have like a counter set, be slow so it lasts longer. And uh, yeah, imagine. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Uh, and uh, it can definitely happen on a counter attack. Like it doesn't need to be on their turn uh, to actually land the stun. 25% there, Abyssal Crown, plus the oh, the base chance on S1 of Dizzy. And then you have Bellion too, which is definitely something I'm going to be trying out. So let me grab her 15 skill, her up, and uh, we'll uh, build her together and put some gear on her. All right, boys, Jack O, that is her base stats with level 60, with the 6th Awakening done. You can see it is well balanced, very nice stats. You know, she gets crit, crit damage. From awakening everything is solid everything is solid there so right here i have an imprint so she can get a bit more attack pushing her over 1300 and for her skill ups her skill ups what is important well the minus one turn is a big deal i mean three turn cooldown if you down the target it's actually a two turn cooldown which is insane gonna be able to cycle this s3 often and just maxing this thing is, is super important because you need to down the target. It's imperative. You get the 50% defense penetration. You get the self-attack buff. It's pretty ridiculous what kind of damage I think she's going to be able to pull off with the skill number three. Um, but yeah, just secure the kill is very important. Get the skill up. So maybe you can build her more bruisery if you get the extra damage there. Especially with her own uh, you know, limited artifact. You have a debuff. It's going to help you tremendously. Okay, so now the passive is not that big of a deal. You can get the early skill ups in there, but it can only activate once every three turns. Maybe you have your team speed tuned and you need to get someone quite a bit of CR pushing. So getting it to 20% would help, but she's not like a super high speed initiator that CR pushed the whole team. So it is not that major of a deal. Now the skill one is important because you get stun chance from 30 to 40%. So get the 10% effect chance there. And of course, getting more damage here is going to be important, uh, but not as important as maxing the skill 3 ASAP. So I would just like kind of max out this thing before even worrying on like about the other two, uh, to be honest. So yeah, because stuff happens very early on, on like when you're using a very high offense hero, uh, I mean, yeah, turn one, turn two are super important. So let me put some gear on her. Let's look at her stats and uh, yeah, I'll have her fast. And uh, we'll just see. We'll see. All right, guys. This is her build. She's on speed penetration set. And her stats are pretty inflated in terms of offensive power. Her survivability is not so good. 
but I'm going for max damage. I'm going for max damage. I even have her on a penetration set to push the uh, defense penetration even further. Uh, from my understanding, it, it doesn't add up, right? It, it's going to be 50% um, you know, pen and then like 20% of what's left and not like 70% defense penetration. So of course, it's not so great, but at least it's going to help out for the skill one and the extra attack because they are, you know, single target attacks. Uh, the stealth, of course, is going to be real handy to boost her survivability. So I'm going to work with that to try to keep her alive. And uh, man, I, I can't wait to see what kind of numbers she's going to be able to pull off. Effectiveness wise, doesn't have much at all. Uh, the stuns would definitely be nice, but uh, I'll, you know, I'll live with that. Uh, so yeah, you can see that crazy amount of, uh, you know, attack crit, crit damage. It is pretty insane with 206 speed so she's gonna be speed tuned and i'm gonna use like dj bazaar to push her and she's self-sufficient with the you know self attack buff on the scale three so it's great i need i don't need to worry about having an attack buffer in the team i just need to worry about having a debuff on the targets i'm going to attack so yeah i mean let us know what you guys think about this build i feel like it's pretty solid you can definitely have her on penetration uh, but you can also have her on immunity a right? speed immunity and I think that she's gonna be able to have enough damage to be built on like other sets, right? Like counter set or, I mean, you could have her on all sorts of different setups. You could have her on attack, you could have her on destruction, you can have her on life steal, I think. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what kind of damage she really dishes out. And uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for the next video. But that's gonna be it for this one. I'm Ashton, good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.